P sold an article to Q at a profit of 30%. Q sold it to R at 20% profit. Q's profit was rupees 20 less than P's profit. Find P's cost price. Okay, so P sold an article to Q at 30% profit. P sold it to Q at 30% profit. Right, the profit was 30%. Then Q sold it to R at 20% profit. Q sold it to R at a profit of 20%. Q's profit was 20 less than P's profit. Profit of uh, Q was 20 rupees less than the profit of P. Based on this data, we are supposed to find out the cost price of P, P's cost price. Now look at this. Let us assume that P's cost price is C. P's cost price. P's cost price is equal to C. What will be P's selling price? Selling price of P will be 1.3 C. We have discussed this very clearly in our profit and loss video. If the profit is 30%, selling price will be 130%. 130% of the cost price. So 130% is 1.3 times of the cost price which is C. You're getting it? So cost price of prof, uh, P is C. Selling price of P is 1.3 C. Now what is the cost price of Q? See cost price of Q will be equal to the selling price of P. This also was discussed there. Selling price of first person becomes the cost price of the next person. So cost price of Q will be equal to selling price of P which is 1.3 C. What about the selling price of Q? What will be the selling price of Q? Selling price of Q will be what? See, the profit is 20 percentage. If the profit is 20 percentage, selling price is 120 percentage of the cost price. 120 percentage of the cost price, which is 1.2 times of cost price. What is cost price? Cost price of Q, which is equal to 1.3 C. You're getting it? So, overall, the selling price of Q is 1.56 C. 1.56 C. Selling price of Q is 1.56 C. And what is the cost price of Q? The cost price of Q is 1.3 C. Selling price of Q is 1.56 C. From these two, can you tell me what is the profit of Q? What is the profit of Q? Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. So 1.56 C minus 1.3 C, which is 0.26 C. The profit of Q is equal to 0.26 C. What is the profit of P? See, profit of P. Selling price of P is 1.3 C. Cost price of P is C. So profit of P will be 0.3 C. 0.3 C. See, you need not write all these steps or put this a uh, diagram there to get the answer. I mean, you can cut down all the steps. I'm just trying to explain it in detail so that you don't get confused. Okay. What is important here is to do this calculation. 1.3 C and 1.56 C. So from these two, the profit is 0.26 C. According to the, you know, question, the profit of P is 0.3 C. But the other point that is given in the question is Q's profit is 20 less than P's profit. Q's profit is 20 less than P's profit, which means what? Profit of Q is equal to profit of P minus 20. So 0.26 C is equal to profit of P 0.3 C. 0.3 C minus 20. Simplify this, what do we get? 0.04 C is equal to 20. 0.04 C equals to 20. Or C is equal to 20 by 0.04. 20 by 0.04, which comes out to be 500. And that is that is what is asked in the question, right? Find P's cost price. P's cost price, P's cost price is C. C is equal to 500. The question may ask you anything. The question can say find P selling price. P selling price is 1.3 C. So 1.3 into 500. Find out Q's cost price. Q's cost price is 1.3 C. So 1.3 into 500. Find out Q's selling price. Q's selling price is 1.56 C. So 1.56 into 500 and so on. Okay. This is one way of solving the question. I hope all of you have followed this. Is the idea clear? Is the idea clear? Right. Just play with the variables and then don't try to draw this diagram and all that i mean c 1.3 c and 1.56 c these three values are important right so 1.56 c minus 1.3 c is 0.26 c 1.3 c minus c is 0.3 c you can also assume see if you don't want to deal with these variables you can start with numbers you can assume that the cost price for p is 100 and accordingly find out the values and then get the answer then you have to do that proportionality to get the answer you're getting it like for example, let us assume the cost price of P is 100 implies the selling price of P will be how much 130, which implies the profit of P will be 30. Now the cost price of Q, cost price of Q is 130, implies the selling price of Q will be 156, implies the profit of Q is how much 130 and 156, 26. Same thing. It is because we have taken 100 in place of C. We are getting these kind of values. See, what did we get profit of P? 0.3 C. So because C was 100, 0 0.3 into 100, 30. What did we get the profit of Q? 0 0.26 C. But C is 100. So 0 0.26 into 100, 26. Now what is the difference in their profits? The difference in their profits is 4 rupees. 
profit of Q and profit of P are 26 and 30 respectively. Here it said Q's profit was 20 less than P's profit. Here Q's profit is 4 less than P's profit. Able to follow. When? When the cost price of P is 100. So the point is if 4 or if 100 cost price is giving us the value as 4. See we started with 100 as the cost price. We got the difference as 4. But here the question says the difference is 20. So for the difference to be 20, what should be the cost price? Cross multiply. So 20 is 5 times 4. This will be 5 times 100, which will be equal to 500. So from this 2, you can say the question mark is 500. So the same concept, I mean, there's nothing different here. It's just that instead of assuming C as the cost price, we have assumed 100 as the cost price. And I've cut down all the unnecessary steps. I mean, steps there. Okay.